Oh no. I recorded the whole thing and did not hit record on the GoPro. <laughs> Nobody tells you. Nobody tells you how difficult filming is. <laughs> It's so horrible. <laughs> there's so many buttons to push and so many cameras and there's so many accessories. I'm going to have to do a video about like all of all of the nonsense because there's so much nonsense and it is so easy to screw it up. It does not take a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, start over. Do you have a guilty pleasure? I feel like my guilty pleasures right now are handbags and designer makeup. Really anything that's designer, honestly. It's one of those things that I can buy that I, it feels like a special treat. You know, I'm trying to to stay away from the things that I used to have as as um, like a way to treat myself or like, you know, something that made me feel a little bit more special, which in the past has generally been food. And so now I, I've like swapped that for shopping. Probably not good, but <laughs> but but here we are. Um, so yeah, today I thought I would show you some of the things that I've bought recently that I absolutely love. Um, I want to talk more about handbags. I think I'm going to talk more about handbags just in general because I really like them. And I want to, actually, I've been playing with the idea of maybe making my own. Um, I know it's a long process because I know absolutely nothing about leather. I have been dabbling a little bit in working with leather and it's a lot more complicated than what I thought it was. Um, I like sewing as well. I've been doing some more of that recently. It, it's fun because I like to be able to create things, um, but it's also really nice because I feel like I need a way to not think about all of the stress in my life. Not that I have a ton of stress, but I have this job that can be very intense. Um, there's a lot of stress and, and pressure that comes with it. Um, and then it seems like there's always something else. So anyway, I need things to do that get my mind off of those things and things that, that help me to, to not overthink everything. Um, because I found that I was spending a lot of time on social media and obviously that's not good for anybody. And when I do that, I tend to just start overthinking and then it tends to be like, it turns into a catastrophe in my head, you know, and then it just sort of spiral, spirals out of control. So in order to break that, that horrible cycle, um, to find some more peace, some more calm, some more happiness, really, in my life. I found a few things. Shopping is one of them. It's not a good one. <laughs> it's, it's very dangerous very quickly. Um, sewing is better. Sewing is an expensive hobby when you first get started because you need everything. And I feel like every new hobby that you start, I feel like it's like $500 to get started, like right off the mat. With sewing, I had to buy a sewing machine. All, all of my sewing stuff is here. It's, I've kind of like converted my closet. Like half of my closet is, hold on, let me turn it around. So half of my closet now is like this, this craft room, which is kind of a total disaster. I'm not going to lie. There's stuff everywhere. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you need, and, and then also 
There's stuff in my bookshelf. That's one bookshelf. There's stuff in this bookshelf. Um, yeah, it's it's really just everywhere. But I feel like when you first get started with a project, it's, it's a little bit of an investment. Um, but once you get there, then it helps a lot to just to just not think about all of the the stress that's going on. And you get to make something really nice in the process too. I made a blanket that's on my very messy bed right now. Um, I made some other things. I made this. I'm trying to figure out how to make handbags. So don't judge me. It's sort of a hot mess. Um, but for like the second or third handbag that I've made, I don't think it was that bad. I made this bag too. I put all of my camera stuff in it. But it's kind of like a quilt patchwork type of thing. The inside is still sort of unfinished. Here's the inside. It needs some some finishing. But I mean, for a first bag, it really wasn't that bad. So yeah, um handbags, one of my hobbies. I think I showed you this on one of the one of the other videos that I did. So there's one of my Kate Spade bags. There's a bunch of other ones. Then I have some other ones. <laughs> I had to put them on this ceiling in my my closet because I had nowhere else to put them. Um, and then here's some over here. There's some Kate Spade ones. There's, I think, that black one down there. Which you can't really see from this, but I think that's the first one I bought. It's been kind of a process, um, but it's a fun hobby. Um, it's expensive for sure, but it's fun. So yeah, I'm dabbling with the idea of making handbags. Maybe in the future, that's something that, that I'll figure out how to do. Today, I'm gonna show you my newest handbag and a couple of other things that I got. And I'm also gonna show you, in fact, we'll probably start with the makeup that I got. I'm not really big on makeup. I like to keep things more natural, but I did get some really cool things. I got some things from Christian Dior and also from Hermes as well. Um, so that's gonna be fun. And then I got, the handbag that I got is from a brand that I hadn't heard very much about. I don't know how you say it. I think it's Mason the Saber. I don't know, but they have the cutest charms in the whole entire world. I absolutely love them. All right, so let's go. I got some cosmetics from Dior. I've never bought anything from them before. So let's open it up and see what we got. Whew, okay, well that was crazy. Oh, it's so pretty. I love buying things that are like wrapped like this. It's so gorgeous. And there's a card, that's probably the receipt. Yeah, that's the receipt. I hate undoing the bows because <laughs> they're so pretty. the gift wrapping too. It's gorgeous. Oh. Okay, let's see what I got. Um, I got Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. I forget what color it is. It's coral. So it's like that. Super cute. Um, I guess I should have it like that. Nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to try that on later. In a minute here. Um, okay, so then I got Dior Addict Lip Glow in Poppy Coral. Oh, that one's nice. Nice. I love the packaging. It's super cute. Okay. And then I got Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. Is awesome I love those colors I love the pink I think I'm forever going to be a pink eyeshadow and highlighter type person yes okay the next thing I got was Dior backstage face and body primer okay. That is a little bit smaller bottle than what I thought that I was getting, but honestly, how much primer do you really need? I don't know that I would do body primer, but I definitely do face primer. Oh, this one is open. It is Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. Ooh, that one's pretty. And it's pink. It's highlighter. It's highlighter, and I think in the video um, they showed it as as um, eyeshadow as well. So that's that. And then I think these these are gifts. I believe they let you choose what kind of gifts that you want. Oh, there's something else in there. So I got vanilla. Ooh. I'm going to say it wrong. Diorama, I guess. That is perfume, I think. I always use these, I always use a knife to open because I can never get it open without tearing it. Yep, that's perfume. Like a little sampler tester perfume. Let's see what it smells like. I have to be careful with perfume actually because I have asthma um, and it can it can cause me to have an asthma attack so I have to be really careful with it. I'm just bringing the sink over here. Okay. Let's see what it smells like. It's not too bad. It's definitely vanilla. I picked the vanilla one because I actually like vanilla, but I was a little bit concerned. Perfumes are kind of hit and miss for me. Like I said, I have asthma, but then also <sighs> there aren't very many smells that I like. I think this one would be fine if it was just like a faint smell. It actually smells really nice now that it's sort of dried out a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that one. I would buy that one. It's called Vanilla Diorama. I'd buy it. Um, for reference, the one that I really like that I wear a lot is light blue. Yeah, so the one that I have that I like a lot is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Um, that's kind of the type of smell that I like. I don't wear it very often though. All right, the next one is, ooh, I'm not gonna be able to say that. I know I'm not gonna be able to say that. It's serum. What is it for? The first youth revealing serum that visibly improves skin firmness. Well, I definitely need that. I'm not gonna lie. 
it really, really stinks as you get a little bit older and you start noticing all of the, the lines on your face. I have this one here. I literally called my mom. It looks like a divot to me. I mean, I thought it was some sort of a scar. It just sort of appeared. And I literally called my mom and I was like, what happened to my face? I never noticed I had this massive scar on my face. And like, did something happen to me when I was a kid? Like, what happened? And she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, there's this massive divot in my face. And she's like, no, I think you're, you're a little bit crazy. Like, <laughs> nothing happened to you. I never dropped you on your face or anything. So I guess it's just a wrinkle. I don't know. But it's like, it feels like a divot. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not one of those people who, like, ever thought that I would get Botox. But now that I have this crater in, in my face and it's, like, in a prominent place, like, right up here by my eye, I, I'm considering I'm definitely considering. All right, last thing is another perfume. It is Miss Dior. So let's see what this one smells like. Let's say it says a delectable, smooth velvet rose. Okay, let's try this one. We'll do the same thing again. I'm just breaking off some of the tissue paper here and spraying it on the tissue paper. We'll let it dry just a little bit so we get an accurate representation of what it is. Oh, probably shouldn't have gotten it on my nose. Um, I don't think that one's too bad. I don't, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of light blue, actually. Now I have to smell it again <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah, it does. It doesn't smell that much different. It's a little bit different, maybe a little bit more flowery. It smells kind of like, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of rude, but it smells kind of like old rich white lady. That's what it smells like. Uh, maybe that's why I don't mind so much. I'm definitely not rich, but I am getting old. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is what I got. Um, actually, that was not part of it. But the rest of it was there. And I guess there's one more perfume that goes with it. Okay, so here's the receipt. Hopefully you can see it. Um... The lip maximizers were $40 a piece. The backstage glow face palette was $48. Um, the glow maximizer was $45. And then the face and body primer was $38. So all total uh, with tax and everything, it was $224. So not too bad. And then, like I said, the other things were, were free gifts. So yeah, not too bad. Another thing that I liked is they sent me a, an email that is tips for what you bought. So recommendations for how to wear, which is super nice. I definitely need that. I'm not really an, a, I'm not really a makeup expert, obviously. I mean, obviously, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I I would like to do better. So, yeah, maybe there's going to be some glow up videos. Um, there's definitely the opportunity there, for sure. I think the thing was in the past I've never really tried. It was never really something that interested me. I didn't want to spend two or three hours in front of the mirror. Um, but now I don't know that I'm worried about it. Um, I think I'm just now more willing to put forth a little bit more effort. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's always fun and inspiring when you get some new stuff that you like. I thought that I would try on a couple of these things and see what they look like. Um... Okay. 
my makeup case is a huge mess and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bear with me okay and, and um forgive me because like I said I'm not like an expert or a professional at all by by any means okay so let's try the the primer first Ooh, it has a fancy fancy top I probably need to clean my sponges. They're probably, oh, they're like a huge, disgusting mess. Oh, things are falling everywhere. Okay. I can't tell if it smells super nice or if that's the perfume. <laughs> it's, it's still on my hand. Um, it does have like a, a matte finish, which is super nice. If you look, you can kind of see like my forehead is super shiny. Um, and my cheeks aren't so shiny. So that's nice. It's supposed to have some sort of glow to it too, I think. My bathroom is so small. The The countertops are like basically non-existent. So yeah. Okay, so that's nice. It feels nice. It's like super lightweight, which is good. Okay. Um, We'll do the highlighter next. I have to be honest, again, I don't really use highlighter that much, certainly not like on my cheeks. But if I remember the video correctly, you guys are probably gonna correct me in the comments. But if I remember the video, they did it like this. And I think they also did it on the side too, or on the, um, so we'll see. Oh, I should probably put like foundation on first so that you can really actually see the difference because you can't really see it. Okay, start over. For the, for the record too, for all the makeup experts out there, I know that my foundation is a little bit too light. <laughs> I'm aware of that. I don't know exactly how to color match appropriately, so if somebody can help me, I would appreciate it. It seems like it's always either too light or too dark. And it's always one of the lightest shades that they sell. But like, I don't know, maybe I need to get two different ones and mix them. And then of course it changes too. Like if I get even a little bit of sun, then it looks like super, super light. Okay, so now let's see if we can see a difference. I'm probably blending it wrong too. I'm the worst person in the world to be doing makeup tutorials, which is really not a tutorial. It's really just a, I wanna see what it looks like. I mean, I think there's a little bit of color and I think that that's part of it too. Like it was meant to be subtle. It doesn't need to be like super, super pronounced. At least I don't want it to be. 
So yeah, I think it's okay. And yeah, like I've said a hundred times, I'm probably doing it wrong. Um, so there's that. I thought I had another brush, which I do. I saw them putting it like, like as eyeshadow too. So I wanted to. I like that. I think that looks nice. It's just a little bit. It's not like, it's not like a lot, just a little bit of shimmer. Okay. That's nice. I really need to clean my makeup brushes. They're kind of gross. Um, I bought this whole set and I used like three of them. I don't even know what all of them are for. Probably using the wrong ones too. Okay, so let's try this. Um, I think it's highlighter too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it says face palette. I don't know what, like, I guess I should have figured this out. But there's like blush and bronze, and I don't know what those two are. I don't know. No idea. That one's kind of similar, but it's like, it's a little bit darker. Just a little bit, but I still think it looks nice. So that's that. Um, maybe I should try the thing. See if I can put a little bit of color. Oh boy. It always ends up going south like very, very quickly. Yeah. Maybe do the lighter one. Hmm. I think I need some lessons, to be honest. I always see those people on Instagram like like blending forever. I, don't, I just don't have patience for that. Okay, so then we have um, Color Reviver Balm. And then, I don't remember what this thing was called. It had some big fancy name. I got the orange color because I tend to like orange. I don't know why. I saw this girl on um, on Instagram trying this, and she put lip liner on first, which probably makes sense, but like I don't have lip liner because I hate things being on my lips. I don't know why, I just do. It, it never really works out for me. Then I always have these dry cracked lips that look really nice. Okay. So that's that. And then the other thing I think is more of like, I think it's more of like a chapstick, which honestly is probably more my speed. Yeah. So probably put those in my purse and then I'll forget that they're there and they'll get really old. Yeah, that's how that goes most of the time. All right. So... That was how it went. Um, I don't think it's too bad. The lip stuff is like lip plumper. 
and it's definitely tingling. I don't know. We'll see if my lips get any plumper. I'm not, I'm not holding my breath though. While we're talking about makeup, I thought I would show you some other stuff that I got too. I got this a little while ago, although um, I haven't used it that much. Um, oh, something's leaking. So I got this. These are these are from Hermes. I hope I'm saying that right. I always struggle to say it correctly. Um, this is mascara. It's purple, which is apparently supposed to be good if you have green eyes, which I have green eyes. So I like it because it doesn't really, it's kind of a red purple color, I guess. Um, I think it looks nice. It's a little bit different than black. Um, you can't put, you can't put mascara on without holding your mouth a certain way, right? All right. So you can see it's not quite as, as defining as, as black, but I kind of like it because it's different. Anyway, I think it's really cool. I usually wear that one rather than, um, rather than the black one. So I like that one. Um, the next thing that I got is um, lip enhancer. I like too that it comes in these little bags. Super cute. Um, and it's magnetic too. So when you put the lid on there, it like, it magnetically closes, which is super cool. Um, you can see I've used this one a little bit. It's more like chapstick. But it's nice. It's kind of like a matte chapstick. I think that's the train. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it's a really loud whirring noise. I live right next to a commuter rail train station, so it makes this, this very nice noise. But yeah. I like that one. Um, I keep that one in my purse because I like it when I need chapstick. And then the other thing I got, I actually haven't used yet because I wasn't smart enough to get a brush to go with it. And I haven't found one that actually fits. Um, but it came with a bag too. And it is, it's face powder. I don't know how you say it. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, this one, yeah, so that's what it looks like. I think that there's a brush that you can buy that fits in there. I don't know why it doesn't come with one, um, but it didn't. So I need to get the brush to go in there with it. But, and I mean, it looks like the right color. How do you tell? Like I said, I just get one of the lightest ones that they have, usually like the second lightest one that they have. Usually get. One of my favorite things is handbags and I ordered this handbag a while ago and it didn't say on their website that it was coming from Australia so that's one of my few complaints about it. I live in the United States and it took three or four weeks to get here. I didn't think it was ever going to make it out of Australia <laughs> to be fair. Um, Handbags are like one of my, one of the things that I collect. I sort of have like this huge weakness for them. Um, maybe I'll show you some of the ones that I have. I kind of have them in a shelf here. So they're here in the living room. I have a bunch of stuff in here and it's sort of kind of a mess right now because I'm kind of um, in the process of rearranging and I'm going to talk about this uh, in the next couple of videos, but I'm actually moving. So yeah, you can see there's, there's tons of stuff over here that I'm going to get rid of. Um, but these are some of my collections. So I have this one. I don't know very much about Brandon Blackwood, um, but I saw this online and I absolutely love it. It's suede that's croc embossed. And 
it's like a little box. It still has the plastic on the bottom. The only criticism that I have of this, I'm gonna take you down here so I can open it, is that it doesn't open very far. That's about as much as you can get to open it. Um, and I didn't have any type of a, a wallet that would fit in there. I do now, but um, yeah, I'll probably use that one a little bit more now that I have a wallet to go in it. So that's that one. Um, I love Kate Spade, so I have a bunch of Kate Spade. This is one that I have on display because I just think that it's super cute. It's like a um, an Italian like pastry box. And I love that the handles are like magnetic. And I haven't actually used this one, but I like the shape of it. It's super cute. I love that one. And it has, um, it has this that's like a coin purse that goes with it. It still has the tags on it. Um, I don't know. I'm doing a horrible job of like holding the camera. I, I recognize that. So this still has all the paper and everything inside of it. It even has the security thing inside of it actually. So yes, I love that one. I love all of the, I forget what they call it, novelty shop, I think. Um, and I like the strawberry jam one. It is not practical to use as a purse because it's like not very big at all. Um, but it was so cute. I couldn't not buy it. It has the little zipper is a spoon, which is adorable. And then it has a, um, a strap and that's the inside. So anyway, yeah, those are my favorites. Um, none of those are like the ones that I use every single day. Yeah, I'm actually probably gonna change my purse to this one that's in this box here. All right, so let's give it a go. Just as a side note, I keep watching all of these YouTube videos, channels from people that are in the UK. And so now I've adopted all these phrases of like, Let's give it a go. That's not something that I would usually say, but you know, here we are. Here's the box. Excuse my messy counter. It's, there's tons of stuff. It's just everywhere, honestly, at this point. I don't know how you say the name of this brand. Mason D, I wanna say Saber. I don't know if that's right. They have a cute little saying on the inside. I ordered not only a handbag, which I think that's what this is, but I ordered a, a wallet and some handbag charms too. These are the cutest freaking charms. I can't wait to show, show them to you. They are adorable. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. I love the pink color. It has, okay, let me rearrange this a little bit. Okay, so this thing, this thing that's on the front is actually for charms. So I know a lot of the high-end handbags have something that looks like this that has like a lock or a key underneath it, um, but this one is actually for charms. So it's really nice. It feels really soft. Ooh, the inside is like super soft. Okay, so let's see. We have the, um, the handle. I like these, these clips too. They feel nicer, nicer than like the Kate Spade ones. Um, for reference, most of the Kate Spade bags that I buy, I actually buy from the outlet, um, or I buy them from TJ Maxx because <laughs> why not? It's basically the same thing. Um, so I spend maybe a hundred dollars typically, maybe 150 if it's something like super nice. Even though the bags generally have like a retail on them of close to 500. 
This one, for reference, this one was like $2.50, I believe. Um, but it's super nice. It's really simple, too. It's not, like, overly done. I mean, obviously, it's machine-stitched, which is fine. Not hand-stitched. Um, but it's nice. I'm not really sold on the interior. Like, I love the exterior color. The pink color is gorgeous. The purple on the inside, uh, I don't know that I like it. I mean, you don't really see the inside, I guess. I'm a little bit concerned about this, too. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like that. I feel like that's going to catch and end up weird. Oh, and there's another one, too. Which is different because you don't usually have two pockets inside of a bag. Um, so I don't know. We'll just have to see how that goes. I like the logo on the inside. That's cute. And then there's, there's a zipper pocket there, which is nice. All right, so that's the handbag. Um, then the next thing, this is the wallet. So the wallet actually matches the handbag, which is nice. Oh, it's really soft inside too. Um, I, I purposely got one that was a little bit smaller because most of the ones that I have are like this size rather than like this size. So I wanted something that would go in that Brandon Blackwood, um, handbag that I showed you earlier. So I think this will go in there really nice and it has plenty of, of space for cards and, and things. And then it has a little, a little, um, zipper for change and stuff too which is nice all right that's good we'll leave that out there next plus I like the boxes the boxes are super nice they have like a linen finish on them and the gold embossing those are cute um okay so then I got I got a bunch of charms there's this one and then all of these too. So let's start with the bigger one. Maybe. Look at this. They're cherries. Isn't that so cute? So the story on these, is they're actually big enough to put Apple AirTags in them? Um... And they're made out of recycled leather. So I, I don't, maybe recycled isn't the right word. Um, it's like the scraps of leather that they have left over from making handbags. And I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of expensive, especially for what they are. Honestly, they're so cute. I had to get all of them. And, and it's been a fiasco because I saw them after they sold out the first time. And I guess they sold out the first time in 24 hours, and then the second time they sold out in 24 minutes, which I didn't get there fast enough to get them. Um, and then I got them the third time, and they keep saying it's gonna be the last one, and I know that's probably a marketing tactic. I don't know, but, oh, I got the lemon, and the lemons are already gone online, so. I love the lemon. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of obsessed with lemons nowadays. Um, see, it goes on there like this. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is. Kind of just, yeah, like totally obsessed with lemons. All right, to the next one. The next one is an apple, which is adorable. Love it. Plus, they all have serial numbers on there, too. I guess so you know they're authentic. Um, that's an apple. And then there's a strawberry. And the strawberry has all the seeds that are like... Um, what, what's the word? They're almost like quilted on there. Or they're sewn on there, I guess. That's obviously completely adorable. Love that. 
And then the last one is, what's the last one? Oh, it's an orange. Oh, that one's so cute too. I love it. All right, I'm gonna put the orange on there too. Those, that's just like so stinking cute. Like stop, that's so adorable. I don't know, I don't see a, um, there's no receipt in the box. So if I had to guess, I think the, the handbag was like $250. Um, I think this, the wallet was like 109 if I remember correctly. And then each one of the charms is 65 Yeah, $65 a piece for the charms, which I admit is a lot. I know that, but they're so cute. And if they, if it's not a marketing tactic that they are almost gone and they're going to sell out and they're not going to make them anymore. I mean, I don't think the lemon one is even listed on their website anymore. So, um, I know that's not a marketing tactic at least on some level. So yeah, those are super cute. Love them. Absolutely love them. Okay, so I'm going to scoot all this back. I just have one other thing that I want to show you that I'm super excited about that I got recently. I don't have a lot of sunglasses. In fact, most of the time the sunglasses that I get are like the $10 ones. Um, but I got some fancy ones. Some nice ones because I haven't had any Ray-Ban sunglasses ever, I don't think. And this kind is called, oh, it has a name, but of course the name, the name is not here. Does it say on here? Yeah, it doesn't say. So they come in this nice little case. They asked me if I wanted to upgrade and buy a case, but I didn't. This is just the regular case that comes with it. Look at those. Oh, I love them. Those are so cool looking. So let me try them on so you can see. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. What do you think? These are not like the standard ones that everybody gets from Ray-Ban. Um, I just saw them recently. I don't know if they're new or not. I'm, I'm usually late to the game, so they're probably not new at all. Um, but I saw them on their website and I, I thought they reminded me of a lot of the stuff that I used to see in the nineties. And I love the skinnier sunglasses from like the late nineties, the early two thousands. Um, that was like when I was in high school. And so that's, that's the, um, the style that I like. I love that it's kind of coming back now. There's tons of stuff that I remember from my childhood and now I, I see it in the stores and my niece is like, what does she call it? She calls it Y2K. Like, like that's the name of the style, Y2K. I had to explain to her what Y2K actually was. <laughs> you know, how like the world was ending or everybody thought that it was. So yeah, anyway, I love these. I have been looking for a, some sunglasses that are like, skinny like this. I'll show you the ones that I have actually. So these are like some $10 ones that I got from Amazon. They're super skinny. They remind me of like 90210, like Beverly Hills 90210, the original one, not the new one, <laughs> the original one back in the day. But the Ray-Ban ones are just a little bit bigger, which I kind of like. It covers a little bit more of your eyes. I wish I wish the lenses were just a little bit darker. I know this sounds kind of, I don't know, a little bit much, but I don't, I like to hide in sunglasses, right? I don't like people to be able to see my eyes. So I want like the darkest lenses that you can get or like the, um, the mirrored lenses. I had some Oakley's back in the day that had like these purple mirrored lenses. I don't know if I would wear that again, 
It feels like a little bit too much. And I didn't like them. I actually got, I think I sold them. Because people would stare at me. <laughs> and they had like silver frames and purple lenses. And um, I didn't like all of the attention. So I think that's why I got rid of them. But yeah. So anyway, tell me what you think. Okay, so that's what I got. Tell me in the comments what did you think. Do you like handbags? If you do, what's your favorite brand? And tell me why. Do you think that I should get one? There's some other ones that I'm looking at. Obviously, I would love to have an Hermes bag. Um, I don't know that I can quite afford them yet. They're a little bit out of my tax bracket. But I like to have things on my goals list that are impossible, you know? Like, or that feel... Maybe not impossible, but like really, really difficult. I like to have something to reach for, like a plaque from YouTube. You know, I think the first one that you get is, is half a million subscribers. And as I'm recording this video, I have just over like 2000. So half a million feels like a long ways away. Um, yeah, so I like to have something to reach for. So Hermes is probably something to reach for. I think it's more reasonable for me to buy one that's like Christian Dior, maybe something special. I might, might be able to pull that off. <laughs> uh, there were some other ones that I was looking at. I'm probably going to like totally butcher the names. I think one of them is Pauline. That one... Theirs are about $600 price range. That's a, that's a little bit more reasonable for me. Which is kind of funny for me to say because when I the first um, Kate Spade handbag that I bought was $100. And that was like, why would you spend $100 on a handbag? I had never spent more than like $50. And even that was a lot. So I guess you just have to keep keep moving up. So yeah, those are the ones that I'm looking at right now. Um, I don't know when, I don't really have a plan. Kind of a preview for the probably next week's video. I'm actually moving, so I have a lot of stuff to focus on. I'm not moving far, I'm staying within the Boston area. Um, but we'll talk about that next week. Um, the next month to... Month to like six weeks for me is going to be really, really, really busy. It's going to be challenging to record videos, but I have to say I'm really going to try. I'm going to try really hard because I've had so much fun doing this. I felt like when I did the podcast several years ago now, I thought it was fun, but it was very challenging and I was super nervous and it, it just took a lot out of me. It was fun, but it was exhausting. And I didn't like that feeling, which is why eventually I stopped doing it. Um, as a side note, I'm moving all the podcast episodes from my podcast YouTube channel to my main channel. So if you see a bunch of podcast episodes, it's because I'm moving them. I'm going to close the podcast channel and just move everything to one channel. But... I don't know that I'm going to do any more episodes, at least not anytime soon, because it just felt really stressful. It felt really, really difficult, and it kept getting more difficult. I don't know exactly why. I don't... I just don't feel like it was really me. I think I was trying to be something that I'm not, and I don't... I don't like doing that. I... The older that I get, the less that I want to try to be something that I'm not. I just want to be me. And I still worry, still worry that I'm going to be judged for who I am or for how I live my life or for, you know, the $200 makeup that I buy or the $600 handbags that I buy. But I think at the end of the day, you just have to let it go and realize that people are going to judge you. People are going to not agree with you. And that's totally fine. It, they don't have to like you. They don't have to like the same things that you like. They can make their snippy comments and that's totally fine. It doesn't need to affect you or to change the way that you live your life. That, it seems like something that's so simple, but it's taken me so long to get to that point where it's like, 
it's totally fine. I'm okay with it. So, yeah. But anyway, I love doing these videos, the lifestyle type of videos. It's so much more fun. It's so, it's easy for me to just turn the camera on and talk. And I feel like I can just be myself, which was the whole point and that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna do, like once I get past moving, I'm gonna do some moving vlogs um, and talk about like how to, f the type of apartments that are around Boston. It's, it's different renting an apartment in Boston than it has been in other places that I've lived. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in the process and how expensive it is, which is insane. It is egregious how disgustingly expensive it is. Um, we're going to talk about that. And then after that, once we get past all of that and I get settled into my new place, I would like to do some more travel exploring type of vlogs. So definitely around Boston, there's a lot of touristy things that I haven't done in Boston and I've lived here for six years. So there's tons of things that I want to explore. And then there's tons of places around New England, um, the Cape, which... For those of you who aren't from Massachusetts, that's Cape Cod. It's absolutely gorgeous down there. I've only been down there a couple of times, especially in the summertime, the traffic. It's probably 60, maybe 80 miles down to the Cape from where I live. There's, there's a canal that, that separates the Cape from the, uh, from the rest of Massachusetts. So there's two bridges that will take you across the Cape and everybody gets stuck at the bridges because they're really old and they need to be replaced. And I think the state just got a grant actually from the government to, to start replacing them. But you can get stuck there. Like I said, it's 60 to 80 miles. At peak times, it can take you six to eight hours from where I live to get across the bridges. So yeah, I don't go to the Cape very often because the traffic is horrendous. It's really bad. Um, but I know there are other ways to get down there. I mean, you can send the traffic, you can go the off peak times, which is even the off peak times will still take you two or three hours to get down there. Um, there's a train that goes down there. I know you can fly. I don't have that kind of money, but we'll see. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas for blogs. So basically there's a lot more coming. Stay tuned. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Make sure that if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. There's something like 95% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So make sure that you subscribe and I will see you again really soon. Okay, bye!